Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here from Serpent X Tech. And we're looking again at the S9, the Antminer S9, an old ASIC that's not profitable to mine. But some of you asked me, can we just go down to one hash board? Technically we can. We could unplug two of these cables and only have one hash board working. But first, what I recommended to a user who asked that question is to figure out which hash board is the most efficient. And then, you know, once you identify that one, which in this case is the middle hash board, we can just swap to that one. The beautiful thing is, is even though I was wrong about them, there being a custom control board, there is custom firmware that you can use, which we talked about in a previous video or upcoming video, depending on where you are in the time space continuum. Uh, but there is custom firmware that we can use that kind of allows additional tuning uh, compared to stock. And so by using Brains OS, we can set the power target. So if we were only on one board, we could drop that down quite significantly. Uh, and even down here at the bottom, we can override uh, and disable some of these hash boards. So the middle board would be hash board number seven. And so if we disabled six and eight and hit save, we would actually cut it down to just that single hash board set the power target even though it's for all hash boards with everything disconnected but that's one way to do it i would control everything through the firmware is how i would recommend doing it otherwise you can obviously do it at the physical connection i'm just wondering if there might be some issues because we know this thing wouldn't boot on the stock firmware without this dummy adapter plugged in because it only has one fan right now because the old one is broken physical connections versus the firmware but it's just easier for me to do it during the firmware and Brains OS fee isn't much higher uh, compared to some of the other alternatives out there. And one of the perks of mining with their OS on their pool is that there's zero pool fees on Brains pool. So we were connected to their pool um, and using their firmware, we can avoid that one fee, but there is a 2% dev fee for using their firmware. So take that into consideration. Every one of them that I've seen so far is around 2%, maybe 1.8% at the lowest. But that is another way that you can turn this inefficient uh, legacy hardware or legacy Antminer S9 uh, from a very unprofitable, inefficient device to a little bit more efficient and depending on your electricity, a little bit more profitable. Just disable the two hash boards or uh, disable the hash boards in the order that you want and set the minimum or the overall power target and that should help you make that a little bit better but that's going to do it for today do me a favor on the way out hit the like button make sure to get subscribed hit notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out some of the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here and i'll catch you in the next one take care